What is going on guys, NatoBase93 here with another video. Uh, bear with us because we're in the process of moving. We just got down here to Florida and I'm still waiting for pretty much all the studio equipment and all the stuff to get here. So bear with me with the echo and the plain background. But today, iPad OS 14 Beta 6 came out and we're gonna find out what's new. So let's go. All right guys, so the first thing I do wanna share with you is the actual size of the download. So you can see that this is much smaller than the beta five download. The beta five download was actually 1.8 gigs for me, I believe. And now this one's sub 400 megabytes. So again, so I always recommend giving yourself at least double that. So give yourself a gigabyte of, you know, storage that you have available to be able to actually upgrade it. And then I do wanna move over to the build number because this one's a little bit different and I don't know why is Apple's doing this or anything like that? But this is actually build number E. Last time we were on build number, you know, 18A 5357D. And usually it goes the other way. So this kind of confused me a little bit. It feels like they went backwards, but at the same time, this beta is a little bit more stable than the other one. So, but this is the build number. And just so you guys know, I am on 14 beta six. So the main thing that I noticed when I updated this guy is that all my apps, without me asking or anything like that, they actually came back to the home screen. So you guys know that normally I like to have all my main home screen empty from applications. So I'm gonna actually do that right now. I'm gonna hold this, move it around and click on all the apps that we wanna move. Can we do folders? Nope, we can't do folders. So I gotta move them over here and we'll do that for now. I don't wanna bore you guys with the entire thing, but I'm gonna clear this out eventually. But again, that happened, that hasn't happened before actually. So normally my screen would stay blank, nothing would change, but this time for some reason it brought all the applications over to the main screen again. So that's something that might happen to you. Another nice little feature that came out, which you guys can actually notice on the screen. So you see that there's this little yellow orange dot, which signifies that the microphone is actually active and it's listening to me. So I'm actually using the iPad Pro mics right now and they seem to be working pretty well. But what they actually changed was before, when you would make a phone purely off Wi-Fi calling, which is a thing that a lot of phones have these days and all the iPhones have, it wouldn't show that indicator because it wasn't using data to make that phone call. So now that's been fixed. So anytime you make a phone call, whether it is through data, it is through your cell carrier, or it is through Wi-Fi, the, the audio little orange circle will show up for you just so you can have that peace of mind that, hey, I know this phone is listening to what I'm saying. And then one other thing that was kind of iffy, whenever you would go into airplane mode, whether it was on the iPad or the iPhone, you can either go to airplane mode right here, or you can actually hit the control center and hit the airplane button right here to go into airplane mode. Apparently with beta five, I didn't notice this because I guess I never went into airplane mode. If you went into airplane mode through the general settings and hit it here, it wouldn't translate and it wouldn't highlight the airplane mode here. And then I feel like it confused the device into whether or not it needed to be in airplane mode, but that's been fixed. So whether you click on airplane mode right here or click on airplane mode in the control center, it'll show on both sides that you're good to go. So that's pretty much what the update's gonna do. One other thing that's been happening with beta six that wasn't fixed is if you use the native mail client for Apple, which I don't have because I don't use it, I don't like it. Sometimes when you're in the middle of writing an email and you move it into drafts, and then open up that email again, it duplicates your signature. So keep that in mind if you guys are using beta six and you don't wanna send an email with two identical signatures, one underneath the other. So keep that in mind if you do have something in your drafts that you do wanna send out at some other point. But again, that's gonna do it for this portion. Let's hop back up to the normal view, but I do recommend beta six from a stability improvement. It's good to go. This kind of annoyed me, so I'm gonna to have to manually move over all the applications, but in terms of stability, it's good. It does say that no matter what, now all of the widgets will, will auto-populate. And if they have location permissions, it'll know to go towards that location. For example, the weather app, right? And we are now in Tampa because we're moved down here. But let's hop back to the normal view and finish up this video. So as you guys saw, there isn't anything crazy with this beta six update. Every single beta now moving forward is gonna get smaller and smaller in terms of visual changes. But you are gonna see, you know, improvement to the stability of the iPad and the iPad Pro and iPad OS, especially when it comes to battery life and making sure that all your applications are running in the background smoothly, right? I've noticed that there is a little bit of an increase in battery life, especially when you're attached to the Magic Keyboard, because you guys know that that Magic Keyboard drains the crap out of our iPads. So I do recommend getting on beta six if you can, if you're a developer, or wait for the public beta, which I do believe will release a couple days after. And Apple is now on their weekly beta schedule moving forward, so they're not doing every other week. And we'll probably get to the Grand Master or GM Gold Master, whatever that stands for, uh, probably in another month or so. so 
and I do recommend hopping onto the Beta 6 update if you guys can to give you that stability improvement and I do recommend it moving forward. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for bearing with me and get ready for some awesome content once the studio stuff gets in. Until next time, peace.